So right now we are stalking a jungle full of vegetables and fruits. Just be very quiet. <laughs> I just dropped fruit all over my pants. <laughs> How to create a high-end looking VFX product shot? The falling morphing technique. I was sitting on this super unique concept for a while. I wanted to take an ingredient and have it flipping through the air and landing in the product. The problem was I just never had the right client to achieve this concept with. Then came along Pure Green Cold Press Juice. They reached out to me to create a short 15 second ad that would grab people's attention. I realized their product was perfect and it would be awesome to showcase how many different fruits are pressed into each bottle using this idea. Experience the nutrition of up to five pounds of fresh fruits and vegetables in every bottle. with pure green cold pressed juice. The world of filmmaking has changed. Filmmakers can now create commercial style content in the comfort of their own home. And this course will show you how. Let this be an invite to the new frontier of filmmaking. A lot of the time when I have these ideas, I have no clue if it'll actually work. Most of the time I go into the shoot with a general concept and have it mapped out in my head what shots I think I need and what effects I would use to pull this off. So let's break down how I would achieve this falling morphing shot. We call this the guillotine because if you let go of this wrong, it's going to slice your health. <laughs> I'm gonna be using as my key light is the Amaran 200D. Aperture sent me this light and I'm super stoked because it packs a huge punch for how small it is. Look how small this is. Don't, don't mind this giant softbox. <laughs> Big softboxes get good results, but look how small this light is and how powerful it is. 200D, I think it's only $300. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong, but this is amazing and I love it so far. And we're gonna be using this as our key light. We're gonna use this with the rectangular diffusion by Glow. And then I'm gonna put another Roscoe diffusion just to even get it a little bit more soft. To get all the fruits to fall through the air, I know I needed to get them to spin. So I used my drill and a drill bit and spun each fruit and vegetable separately top down. I made sure my background was a color that doesn't show up on the fruit or vegetable that I was filming so I can remove it later in post. After I got those shots, I needed to set up my scene. We built out a crate with all the fruits and vegetables and the drinks sitting in the center. <clears throat> so before we start placing the fruit into the bath, the fruit and vegetables in the basket, I want to make sure the basket's in the right spot. And what I'm trying to do is I want this basket to be far enough away from the background, but also not to show any of this edge. And so I'm using the lens that I'm going to be using, which is probably the 35 is what I, feel like I'm gonna use, but we're gonna, that's the widest I'll go. So you're gonna always wanna use your widest lens when you're doing this first, because you don't wanna use say like an 85. And then once you get it all set up and then you switch to your 35, you're like, well, that doesn't work for my 35 because now I can see everything. This is also a trick just to let you guys know, this is a trick for say, if you don't wanna buy a bunch of fruits, cut them in half like this and place them like this on the camera. Then it looks like it's a full fruit when you're stacking things out and stuff like that. So full fruit, but it's actually half. Who would have known? This is Tim as well, um, if I haven't introduced him yet, but I probably will do a more proper introduction later. He does amazing food photography, and he reached out to me and I said, hey, I got a great project for you to jump in on with me. So that's what we're doing. Collaboration over competition. I kept my lighting the exact same and took a few bird's eye photos of the scene because I knew I'd use these as the background for the falling fruit. From there, we needed to get our splashing shot. We took a dustbuster can, sprayed it inside an open bottle to cause a splash of liquid shooting out. In post, we will place the apple falling inside the bottle to make it look like the bottle's exploding with juice. After that, we got our simple straight on shots of the bottles and got our hero shot of the entire scene using a slider to slowly pull back. And that was it for shooting. The next step was to take the shots into After Effects and remove the background using something like key light or masking. Next, we took all the fruits in the photo background. I scaled the photo background to grow larger, allowing me to place the fruits in the center, creating a falling look. 
Using a little bit of speed ramping and motion blur, I was able to change from one fruit to the next. Even though the end result looks super complicated, it was actually really easy to achieve. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't checked out my product video course, I promise you, you're missing out. We go over so much more than these YouTube tutorials where you can really up-level your product videography. The link to join is in the bio below. I hope you enjoyed this creation. Please like, share, subscribe, and until next time. Experience the nutrition of up to five pounds of fresh fruits and vegetables in every bottle. With pure green cold pressed juice. And three, two, one, go. <laughs> go lower, 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 up higher. Ready? And three, two, one, action. Well, that wasn't as splashy as I thought it would be. No.